Hi everyone, it's day three of the admin challenge. So during day three, I'm going to be talking about the 10 steps that we would naturally encourage people to take if they want to relaunch their career. Now, some of these things you can check off already, so that's a great start, um, but also I'm going to add a few things on there because um, what we find is that, you know, when you relaunch your career, there's a set of things that you need to do. Now, as I said, said on day one, my background was originally helping people into employment, and it still is, obviously, um, but in the Salesforce space. And what was prominent during my my background and understanding what makes people successful when they relaunch their career is actually it creates it requires a combination of things um, to, ha to have in the mix and that's why when I designed Supermums I wanted to make sure it had this holistic support program around it to set you up for success properly so I'm going to talk through the 10 things that I generally say that you do need to have and then tomorrow on day four, I will go into more than nuts and bolts of what sell, of what Supermums offers to help you relaunch your career successfully within the Salesforce space. So let's talk through these 10 steps to launch your Salesforce career. Hopefully at this point, you're a little bit more excited about it, given what I've talked about on day one and day two. Hopefully you can see the earning potential, you can see your transferable skills and experience. Um, hopefully you've got an indication of what type of job role might suit you and you think it's something you wanna do. And actually at this point, you're now going, well, actually, how do I do this? So the first thing on the list, which I think we can check off, is to find out more about the job roles available and what their salaries are and what the progression opportunity is. So hopefully that has all been done as part of day one. The second is going to be about how to, you know, how do you upskill in, in the different training options available? So tomorrow I'm going to talk about more about the Supermums package. But what I felt was incredibly important, and I went through this myself, is I trained up with an authorized Salesforce training provider when I did my course. And I did a live training course because I wanted to make sure that it covered all the curriculum. It was the best training that I could get out there. It was most reputable that was going to be on my CV because I want my CV to stand out. So that's what we deliver at Supermums. We are an authorized Salesforce training provider um, and we deliver the authorized content. So it is the best content that you're going to get on your CV and it covers all the latest things because Salesforce create the content. We know it includes all the latest releases and all that relevant information. So that's number two, is you want to upskill in the best training that is available to you um, to make you stand out in the marketplace. Number three is to seek independent validation of your skills. So you want somebody to be able to verify that you have learned Salesforce and that you can do it. And that is something that you'll need to find if, you know, on your own account if you don't do it with Supermums because you, you will need those references. Somebody will need to say, yes, this person does really know what they're doing. Um, and I can verify they know, you know what they're doing. And that can be on your LinkedIn profile and on your CV. Now, at Supermums, we give you access to three different references for when you launch your career, from the training manager, from your mentor, to your work experience um, supervisor. So we'll talk more about that tomorrow. But it's incredibly important that you get that validation because then people trust um, that you know what you're doing. So that's the third thing. The fourth thing is beyond technical skills. Now, yesterday I talked about all those transferable skills that you might have. So that was more the professional softer skills uh, um, and all those different attributes. Anybody can get an admin certification, right? You know, that is the baseline for going for a Salesforce job. Everybody needs an admin cert. It's all that other stuff that's going to make you stand out in the crowd. It's those transferable skills and the industry experience. And industry experience is number five. So transferable skills is number four. Industry experience is number five. You know, you want to showcase that on your CV and get it out there. Now, at Supermums, we also do deliver a consultancy skills course, which we offer a discount off if you buy admin and consultancy skills together, which train you up as a professional agile project manager, business analyst and change management practitioner. So they can add value to your CV, your confidence and your skills and capabilities when applying for job roles. So it's something that I would highly recommend getting those two things together. You can absolutely get a job without having those consultancy skills on top of your CV. But if you want to add those skills and strengthen it from the outset, then it will add more weight and more value for sure. So that's number four and number five. Number six is to build connections in the industry. It can be incredibly lonely, as I found, launching a career all by yourself. I remember going to Dreamforce and being on this plane, this big conference and going, 
I don't know anybody like this is really scary. Um, so being part of a community is really important when you launch a Salesforce career. It's one of the reasons why super like people join the Supermoms community because they don't want to do it by themselves. They want to be part of a cohort. They want to make new fr friendships. Um, and they want to be on this journey with others. And that really gives them motivation and confidence and that camaraderie to kind of do well. So at Supermoms, we help you build connections. If you didn't do it with us, then that's what we'd very much encourage you to do external. You know, if you decide to go down any industry or relaunch, you know, relaunch your career in any industry, you want to be building those connections. Number seven is obviously you want to find a job in the Salesforce ecosystem. We will be talking about that on day eight, on day five, sorry. Um, you know, how do you find that job opportunity? How do you get yourself out there? Obviously, all of these things that I'm talking about today is about how do you relaunch your career? You need more than just the admin cert. You need to make sure all of this other stuff stands out. Because the other great thing about the connections is a lot of people in um, the Supermoms community, because they've connected on LinkedIn, they've raised their profile, everybody's liking each other's posts and helping raise awareness of them. That's attracting employers to them to invite them for job interviews. And so building your profile, building those relationships in the community just can level up awareness of you know who you are and what you're looking for and you're looking for that job and it brings people to you so in finding a job a job might find you if you build all that those community those uh community relations interaction but the other thing with finding a job is at supermoms we give you that employability advice we give you all these things we help look at your cv we help you get ready for work we help you present you to employers through our recruitment team um, but equally, we encourage you to, you know, all the other places to find jobs, because certainly at Supermoms, we don't have access to all the jobs, but we help you think through all the different ways you can do that, find the jobs and how you can promote yourself on LinkedIn. Now, number eight is kind of a follow on to six in terms of building connections it's about getting involved in the Salesforce Ohana. Now, there's millions of people within the Salesforce ecosystem. So beyond Supermoms, there's a whole world of user groups, community events. And at Supermums, you know, we love getting everybody together at these community events, um, you know, and, and bringing them together. We just had 60 people at London World Tour. We're going to be at Dreamforce in San Francisco. There's, there's events all over the world for Salesforce. I say more regular user group ones, which are all in local pockets, um, and then these bigger community conferences and events. So you want to be out there in the Salesforce Ohana. It's a big world and everybody is so friendly and so open to networking with you that you know we want to introduce you to this whole world you won't be alone um then number nine is to have a plan to progress your salary like i want you to have that career vision of like, actually where am i going to start and where do i want to be so at supermoms we very much encourage you like you know what certifications are you going to get next what's that career path going to look like um you know get clear on your end goal and have a path and a progression route that feels comfortable for you for those of you that are very happy sort of staying where you're at, that's absolutely fine. But for those that we certainly had some super mums and super dads go through our program who've wanted to double their salary, that have wanted that progression, that have wanted to achieve much more, earn more and work less, right, as part of it as well. So we can help you plan all that out. But you want to have that path and be part of it because that's going to motivate you to get there. And then number 10 is, you know, maintaining inspiration and motivation, depending on your preferred format, there's different podcasts, there's blogs you can read, um, there's uh, vlogs on YouTube. So there's so many people within the Salesforce ecosystem that you can continue to learn from it and develop. And so you're never going to be bored. It is um, very much about lifelong learning with the Salesforce industry. There is always lots more to learn. Um, but I don't ever want you to feel overwhelmed by that because you never need to know everything. Um, you know, you can learn a pace that suits you. You can focus in on certain products and certain areas, but there's always a place to go and learn new stuff depending on your preferred medium. Um, and so lots of great opportunities. So if you are launching your career, there are the 10 things that I'd say that you need to focus on to really make it a success now and in the future as well. And at Supermoms, we're here with you for life. Um, you, once you join us, you become, become part of our community. If you don't decide to join us and do it yourself, then these are all the top tips that I'd encourage you to follow and share. So I hope that's been useful for you. Um, on day four, I will be going through the Supermums offering in much more detail, um, and you can get a 
better view of whether you think it's something that's right for you. Take care. Speak to you soon. Bye.